welcome to Sunday, Sunday Fun Day. I figured out how to do this really cool little happy thing, so now I have an intro. <laughs> Stupid, but fun. So I thought uh, today I would just um, see if this works. So let's see. Okay, <laughs> it works. All right. So um, just need to do a little update for this fun blog. <laughs> um, so what we've decided is, well we're still doing the adoption obviously, still waiting, seeing what's up. Um, and also, um, we found, I found out over the last couple of months that it was really important I guess to Brandon to have biological kids. So um, what we've decided to do, while well, we continue to wait for our adoption to go through, is to start um, um, a form of infertility. It's not really a treatment. It's it's easier than that. Um, so it's called IUI, interuterine insemination. So pretty much what they do is they take the sperm, they uh, sample, they wash them, and then they take all the good sperm and put them into a concentrated, um, just a concentrated concentration <laughs> and then they use a thin straw and they insert them right next to the mature egg so it's great if you are someone who has low sperm count or um, if you are a couple that has um, a hostile um, womb um, where the mucus just isn't great or um, all sorts of issues our OB just kind of went over it and um, just if you have trouble for whatever reason, male or female, in getting the sperm to connect with the egg, um, it's really helpful because it puts them right next to the egg. So, um, it's great. So, we have been trying for a little over two years now, which technically makes us infertile, um, which is why we went for the adoption process. And um, so, our reason for being infertile is um, it has a really high chance of being um, successful with the IUI so we're gonna give it a shot and see what happens it's much cheaper than IVF um, it's very cheap it's usually covered by insurance which is really nice and yeah I had to think about it I wasn't sure if I wanted to share it or not um, in case it doesn't work but I was looking for other people on YouTube um, who had had it done and it was just really nice to um, there weren't a lot of people that had but the few that had um, I was really really happy that they shared their experience because it gave me some stuff to like it knew I knew what to look forward to so it was really cool um, so so far we've met with our OB once we're gonna see the infertility specialist or the fertility specialist I guess she is um, she's very knowledgeable very specialized in her field we're gonna be seeing meeting with her at the end of the uh, beginning of September um, so far Brandon's got some testing to do I've got some blood work to do I had an ultrasound um, they want to see like the woman gets a lot of testing done um, so I had a preliminary ultrasound on Friday to see um, if I could go in for a regular ultrasound or if not I have to go for an x-ray to see how clear my um, fallopian tubes are. So I got the pre-ultrasound done and I do have to go for the more complicated x-ray just because of the way I, uh, I'm tilted and everything in there. So I have to go to get an x-ray done um, and they'll be able to look with um, dye and radiation and take a peek in there and make sure I'm good to go and don't have anything creepy or scary going on. Um, so I think I'll try to film this fun journey um, and definitely if we have updates about the adoption along the way. It's definitely been a great learning experience. Um, just when you think you got it down, something new comes up. I, it's fun. I just wanted kids. I didn't really care how I got them. Um, and Brandon had always voiced that he did want biological kids if he could. Um, but I thought we kind of put it on the back burner. And he did too. And then it kind of resurfaced. Um, a couple months ago so we talked and prayed about it and we decided well while we're waiting we might as well try and then you know good thing is God's in control of everything and um, the other good thing is is 
even if we do get pregnant and put our adoption on hold, um, either it'll work out perfectly and we'll have the baby, we'll get, uh, it'll work out perfectly and we won't have to put anything on hold or um, we'll have a baby and then wait until our adoption agency lets us get back to adopting and then we'll go back to adopting. So um, yeah, I think it'd be fun to film the experience and the IUI, because um, filming the experience of the adoption has been very sad and very fun and at the same time and exciting and it's it's great sharing and I love sharing and talking with people about it so um, this is something that I actually I'm sure it's more common than I thought um, but a lot of people I talk to and a lot of friends have done IVF um, or like people in the church that I like growing up have done IVF but I've never heard of IUI and maybe it's more common in other places or people who do more research probably know all about it um, but I'd never heard of it. So, and then when I looked online, there wasn't a ton that I saw of other people sharing this experience, um, especially especially same sex. I mean, um, if you weren't same sex, there's quite a few same sex couples doing it online, but not a lot of um, like traditional, I guess, relationships. So I thought it'd be fun to, I guess we seem to go towards IVF, it seems. So anyways, um, this seems fun, and we'll give it a shot, and uh, see how it goes. Alright, bye guys.